I have been loving the newfound freedom of sailing to the wind schedule. However, even with this freedom, hurricane season is already here and I have boat work that I am looking forward to doing in the Southern Caribbean and a lot of distance to cover to get there. The Bahamas is my favorite place in the world and I'm finally getting to my favorite outer islands, but I have to start working my way south, which begins today. This clear water is something that I will forever be in love with and I hope you enjoy these last weeks of it with me. Thank you for joining in this life with me. I couldn't do it without your support, especially patrons, and I'm so excited to continue sharing it with you. Hi. Yeah, you want to sail today? Well, today, <laughs> yeah, Mako. What? I have not checked the radar, but it's supposed to be clear skies. Winds coming from south, southeast. It's not the perfect direction for where I'm planning to go, but I don't really have plans. I'm just trying to go with the wind, but I think this is this is supposed to be the only day of clear skies that I get, but it's also red sky in the morning. Sailors take warning, so we shall see. I think tomorrow and the day after is supposed to be stormy again. Mako, this isn't a toy, um, but I need to get the dinghy up, put dive gear away, and all that. Drink some coffee, so we'll keep you posted. But I think we're gonna be sailing today. No, Mako, don't get that. Mako, don't get that. You're on fire this morning. Yeah, you're on fire this morning. Oh my God. It's really time to leave the Exumas. We'll see. You never know where the wind's gonna take me at this rate because I have no idea where I'm going today. Leaving another place again. Um, another bittersweet moment. If this really is my last time in the Exumas for a while, for a long while, it's very bittersweet. But it's the story of the life lately. Keep leaving places and keep making memories. Hopefully this wind behaves. She hails from Boston. She hates the sound of goodbye. She loves Sundays and champagne. She can't stand the winter. She can't stand anything that she can't change She can't change She is whatever she wants to be And she is a little of everything Mixed up so tough in a beautiful way She's got the world at her fingertips And she makes beauty look effortless And I want everything she is so, little fun fact I realized um, once I got here was I have not been through Daniel Cut in my boat since I brought my boat back from Puerto Rico, and that was in the dark. It's not fun, it's very stressful, and I haven't been through the cut since then, so kind of crazy, like, yeah. So my update is I'm 
maybe half a mile out of the cut. I'm going two to three knots with 11 knots of wind. The wind is directly in my face. It's not even a close haul. It's directly in my face. Um, and I'm going three knots. And that won't even get me to my destination. So I'm not sure if it's worth it today. And I think I may turn around. And I've never really done that. So what can we do? Well, we made it the full, like, two miles south of where we were. Um, yep, but this water is so pretty. Wonder if you guys will make bets on how long it actually takes me to get it south, because at this rate, I don't even know. It's gonna take forever, I think. Good morning. It's about eight o'clock, seven fifty-one. Make go. Um, the wind was supposed to change directions. Shocker that it did not. So this is where the wind was from yesterday, and it was supposed to be from there today. That's a good 10, 15 degrees, which would make a different sailing. But because it's still more from the east, I'm going to try to sail down south the Xuma chain. Yesterday the wind was not perfect for that and it may still be too much on my nose today. But I need to start, I need to move if I can and um, in a few days the wind just dies. So I'm gonna attempt to move. I think it actually shifted like halfway to where it was supposed to be. So now it should be like directly in my face to go out of the Exumas. <laughs> it's called the thorny path for a reason. And I'm not even on the thorny path yet. We are engine is on right now. Main is two-thirds out. The wind's at about 25 degrees and I'm going straight south which means the wind is as predicted but I just couldn't tell in the anchorage. So I'm going to go down to a cut that's about 10 miles south. I'm going to motor sail there, charge the batteries. It's hazy and um, from there I should be able to cut across the Cat Island or somewhere and hopefully I make it before dark but it's an easy anchorage so no big deal if I make it after dark. Goodbye to the Exumas. Sails are out. We are going five to seven, seven and a half knots, 10 to 12 knots of wind. Super happy. I have not sailed quickly in a while. I've not sailed in deep water in a really long time. Just put the fishing rod out, but you guys have never seen me catch a fish probably won't happen. Um, it's beautiful out here. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. Um, sunny skies, two to four foot swell, and a long swell, a lot prettier than yesterday was winds down a little bit than it was yesterday. Uh, I don't even have the full main out. Autopilot is acting up a bit, but it's holding heading-ish. Keeps bearing, but I'm just gonna let it be. I've messed with it a little bit. I've made sure the heading is correct, so. It's not as bad as it was, but yeah. So beautiful out here and it feels so good to say it. It's so easy 
easy to stay when there's people around and there's meetups and all that but that's one thing we have to decide as sailors is when it's good to go for us for the boat and when we need people time but right now I've been waiting for wind for a while and I knew I needed to go. about 25 miles and we have another 25 miles well straight shot we have 30 miles straight shot we have 30 miles but we're going it's gonna show you guys straight not it's 30 miles to there but we're going there and that's about 20 miles to that point now my other option is to go down to Long Island because the wind's coming from like right there, kind of. But the wind is also supposed to shift to straight in front of me, which would give me the angle. So I don't know what I'm doing, um, but it's beautiful out here. Some of you have asked, is Starlink working out in the ocean? And the answer is yes, it does work out in the ocean. I still have my RV plan, which means that I lose it once I'm a certain distance from land, which I'm okay with going in these hops. I have my Garmin inReach on, so I still have contact with people in an emergency. Now, for a long crossing, I probably would switch to the, uh, I think it's $2 per gigabyte plan. But for now, I'm keeping my RV plan because it's a lot cheaper for a Hey! What are you doing? No, that's our fishing line. That's why I don't catch stuff. <laughs> the fishing line got a knot in it um, and it had seaweed on it, but I couldn't reel it in, so I had to pull it all in. So now Mako has a toy, but safe to say we made it back in Cat Island and I'm just praying I don't get bit by mosquitoes tonight because this island is terrible for that. And I get a hot shower because the engine ran for two hours. I have just spent the morning debating what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna sail out, see where the wind takes me literally, and it would be nice to stop in Long Island and see everyone. I just, I really love it here, and yeah. I would like to get to Grenada, but I also know it's late in the season, but there's also work I wanna do on the boat. I don't really wanna stay in DR for hurricane season, so I do think I need to start going. So I'm gonna raise the sails and head on my way. But that was, <laughs> so I think it's almost 10 o'clock now. Yeah. So I've been debating all this for four hours this morning.
for a little bit. It's now back up to 15 to 18 knots, going back to five knots. We were going like three knots for a little bit, but we were also going pretty far upwind. I put the mainsail out a little bit more. I decided to go into Calabash Bay. I love it so much there. It would have going to be a shorter trip. And I know tomorrow I probably wouldn't be doing anything anyway if I didn't get in until 3 to 7 a.m. was my ETA. So might as well get some sleep, be in one of the most beautiful bays, and get some free conch fritters with happy hour. And that's the plan. So one thing that I got is a mini washing machine. Um, and I'm very excited about it. I have turned this head into a laundry room. I'm filling it up with water right now. So I just put the shower hose in it. Takes a few gallons of water per load. Um, it draws 10, 15 amps per cycle. But here's the timer, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, soft, standard, and then you push drain to drain the water out. Then it also has the spinner. The spinner works beautifully, so most of my things, once I hang them out, dry super quick. And I'm really happy because the laundry machines at the, all the laundromats have ruined a lot of my stuff. So I really can't tell you guys how excited I am about this one. Um, just being able to do this while I also do other things has been, it's made my life so much easier. Water's full. It's that easy. So I'm at 71 watts before it runs and then it jumps to 260. So that's about 200 watts. Yeah, so about 15 amps, which is not bad for 15 minutes. Obviously, the lithium batteries make this possible. 3000 watt inverter from Xantrex makes this possible. So, huge shout out to Xantrex for basically providing me with the means of being able to do laundry on this boat. Completely solar powered and it's very exciting. After soaking in the views of this beautiful water and getting some rest, it was time to move another 70 miles south to Clarence Town. Little update is that I think I've gone maybe 10 miles. It's three or four hours in. I don't really remember. It's so gone about 16 to 17 miles, but I've only actually made like seven to eight miles of progress. I am tacking back and forth. The wind is almost exactly in the direction I want to go. But I'm trying to make short tacks because it said it was gonna die this afternoon. So if it does die, I'd like to be close to land and just motor along land versus having to motor all the way from a tack way out there. It's just a beautiful sunny day, full sails out. Well, Maine's almost fully out. Uh, blue, blue, blue water have not caught a thing. And I don't know, two foot long swell with one foot chop on top. It's gorgeous. Autopilot's doing pretty good. It's shrugged a little bit, but that's the update. Make us sleeping. I'm reading. And also, um, books I read. A lot of you ask. I have a list of books that I've read and um, such on my Amazon list. So check that out if you're interested. I have the books that I kind of deal with for more of the self-help ones and fun reads on there. So that link is below as long as a lot of other things I use. So if you're interested, you can check that out. But thanks for tuning in and hopefully we will we'll be there tonight.
engine is on. It is 6.45, 6.49. We have about 10 miles to go and going seven to eight knots now. And this anchorage is super easy, but if I go to the spot I want, it's between a sandbar and coral head. Uh, but if it's already dark, the anchorage is super easy. It's just deeper water, so. I haven't lost my anchor yet. Last year when I did this passage, I lost my anchor, so. Always tie your safety line to your anchor, not your chain. After the sunset would be my guess. I have about two miles until 2.2 .2 miles until I am at uh, the first marker which goes into the cut so I'll probably start taking down the sails in a few minutes and definitely having some swell out here. It's so beautiful out. too long at this anchorage. I know it way too well. So this is actually the spot where I changed my anchor underwater last year. Um, look at this clear water. Make it over here. Hey, do you remember being here? No, probably not. So it feels good to be home. Hopefully we'll not be here that long again. So I'm up here doing a workout. Yesterday there were dolphins.
amazing. The dolphins are so cute and playful. And today, there is a massive tiger shark right there. I was in this bay for three months last year. Didn't even get a reef shark till the end of it. I can't focus on my workout because I know she's circling. But she's not coming super close and I want to say close to the boat if I get in. Little update, happy 4th of July, belated. Um, Mako, what have we been doing all day? <laughs> what have we been doing all day? Is that it? What are you doing? <laughs> I think that explains. Hey. <laughs> I think that explains how Mako and I have been feeling today. Really? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, Mako and I have been relaxing. I read one book in the past two days. I've been editing and working, but um, I've been doing about two boat projects per day. What? You haven't been doing anything. About to get picked up by um, some of my friends that are training for free diving, and we're gonna go head to a beach around five o'clock. And um, I've been asked to bring Mako, so that will be an interesting. But yeah, it feels really good to not do much. I know it doesn't produce content for you guys, but we all need vacations. And when you live out here, Sometimes a vacation is doing nothing but sitting down reading a book. So I've just been working out, working, reading, visiting with friends, and uh, my mom comes in two days. Mako! Baba! What? You're just living the worst life. <laughs> yeah. today. What's going on? I know, you have a rough life. Okay. And you're going first. Stay. You know, you, hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Miko! <laughs> hey! <sighs> He's a mess. What are you doing? What's going on?
There were so many memories that I will cherish forever from this episode, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Next week is a really special one for so many reasons. My mom comes to visit, and we spend my last week in the Bahamas exploring some beautiful places. Thank you all for your support, because I literally couldn't be floating without you all, especially my patrons. And just a reminder, if Patreon isn't your thing, there are multiple ways to help out in the description, including simply subscribing, sharing, and commenting.